the moment. We're running a project over the summer where we got together with the um, Creative and Media Academy and uh, we're also working with White Moss Youth Club. And we've put together a program over the summer working with uh, lads who came out of the academy. Uh, we started working, to them, working with them even before their uh, exams finished to create a, a transition program uh, that will run until mid-September when we expect them to go to college. And what they're doing is that they're working with our coaches every day, learning, learning to be better footballers, but also learning to be uh, sports coaches. Uh, over the summer holidays, they're going to help us to deliver play schemes for younger children. Uh, it's not finally completely decided whereabouts of it's going to be, but it's almost certainly going to be at New Boston Primary School and at the White Moss Youth Club. Uh, and a couple of places in um, Newton Heath as well. Um, and already we're seeing a great change in that group of young men. Um, to be honest, the uh, teacher at the school who introduced me to some of these uh, lads said, actually, you probably want to lose him. Or, actually, do you know what? I don't think he'll come. And in almost every case, the relatively uh, pessimistic view of the teacher, who has no doubt had to struggle with these guys so, you know, through, through the exam period, um, uh, has, has been contradicted by what we've seen in practice. Uh, if these lads have had problems in school, they're certainly not showing it in their work with us. Uh, and so maybe what we're seeing here is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a, 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 a growing maturity which, which I hope will uh, um, stand these lads in, uh, in good stead. And already we're doing a lot of talking with them about, so where are you going in September? What college course are you on? They're talking to each other about their futures, mm. and they're making plans, and they're saying, can I miss the session on Thursday? I've got a meeting at Berry College, I've got a meeting at Hutton, or wherever it is. And you can, see, you can see these youngsters start to think about their future in a far more aspirational way than when we first uh, met them. So that's a big area of the work that we do. The second area of work that we do is, is with younger children, and I've mentioned New Moston Primary School because we formed a very uh, good partnership with a residence association in New Moston called NEFRA. We helped them to get uh, um, to fill in a grant application um, which gave them the funds so that we could jointly organise some activities in New Moston Primary School. And we've had over 80 children uh, coming into the um, uh, play schemes there. Um, and. Uh, because of the success we've had, we've been able to get more funding from different places, and we've kept that going, and we're going to keep that going through through the um, uh, summer as well. Now, although uh, football is part of what we do in those uh, school holiday activities, um, it isn't by any means the only thing that we do. Uh, the uh, play schemes are not aimed at children, are, are not only aimed at children who are really into sport. We try to get children involved who aren't particularly into sport and get them more active, get them mm. thinking more about healthy eating. So we talk about what did you bring in your lunch packet, and maybe you could bring more fruit next time and a bit less chocolate. Uh, and, they, and they respond to that. Um, we also use our club in other ways. Um, we've, we've, uh, in some schools, we've gone in and taught the children FC United songs, uh, <laughs> working with the Manchester <laughs> Music Service. And so when they come to the matches, straight away they know the words of the song, songs and they can get stuck into the match experience and they can get a lot out of it. Other places, we've had them make banners together. So when they come to the matches, they can parade their banner round, round the stadium. Uh, and again, it makes them feel part of it. And that's a big part, I think, of, what, of, of, of the role that football plays in society. It, it makes you feel part of it. And what strikes me an awful lot when I go to primary schools uh, I usually start the FC United Assembly by asking people, put your hand up if you support a football team. Every child pretty much puts their hand up, and then they tell you what, 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 what teams they support, United, City, one or two other teams come up sometimes. And what strikes you is, 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 is how few of those children have actually been to watch their football team live. And of course what's happened is that you know, uh, and, and families, uh, young people, children especially, are priced out of going to football. And that's the other difference, I suppose, between the way we engage with communities and the way that the bigger clubs do, is that even when the bigger clubs give uh, give a kid a free ticket to a match, um, that kid probably can't afford to come back to the next one. Whereas when we give free tickets, and we do give a lot of free tickets, we're not really giving a huge amount away because it's only £2 to come and pay, you know, uh, pay if you're under 18 anyway. So it's not a massive gesture on our part, 
But what we are doing is that we're, we're, is, is that we're inviting somebody to get involved in a club that they can actually afford to get involved in. And in some ways, that's a bigger gift than giving somebody a £40 ticket to go and see a club that they couldn't normally go, go, go and uh, uh, watch, watch themselves. The third group that I want to tell you about uh, is a project that we've been uh, running in mainly in Miles Patting and Newton Heath, but the remit of the project started to creep up the Lightbound Road, and that is uh, our well-being project. We've, re we've recruited a group of volunteers to run a project with older people who are living on their own or people coping with a long-term illness uh, on their own. And the idea is that we get people together, have a meal, and then take them to a match. Uh, and as well as that, we're also getting volunteers to go and visit uh, lonely young people, uh, sort of, uh, you know, these, these isolated older people uh, uh, on, a, on a weekly basis, uh, basis to have a chat, a cup of tea, maybe help with a bit of shopping, maybe help with changing the light bulb, whatever it is, so that uh, uh, these people feel connected. And that comes back to, I think, what, what, what football clubs are all about, is making people feel connected. Now, the last trip we had uh, was, was to the uh, away match in Broughton. Uh, we took 29 uh, people from uh, Moston, Newton Heath and Miles Patting. Uh, and it was a fantastic day. A lot of the people came onto the bus on their own because they, they, they weren't with anybody. And on the way back, the banter and the chat going on in the bus, it was like we were one great big uh, uh, family. It, 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 it looked like we'd, if, if you'd have seen us, uh, you know, driving past us on the motorway because the bus wasn't very fast, everyone else was driving past us. <laughs> but if you'd have seen us through the window, you'd have thought that we were all best friends and we'd known each other um, uh, for years. Uh, and the feedback we've had from people is that, yes, they definitely want to go again. Uh, when's the next match and how can they get involved? A number of people have taken membership forms. And, uh, and, and the next step for that project is to start to get a number of people who just came on that bus for the first time on, on Saturday, get them involved in organising that activity for themselves. They don't need us to keep organising yeah. it you know, um, um, week after week after week. We want to create a self-sufficient group out of the What group was it? Uh, well, it's officially over 50s, mm. uh, because that's in line with the uh, uh, City Council policy. On, on. So, I know, quite a few... Quite, uh, um, the, um, but I say officially that, that, that most of the people were quite a lot older than that. And uh, it, we want to make it clear that, you know, I mean, some people turn up and say, oh, I've got a wheelchair, but does that mean I can't come? And the answer is, yes, you can come. Yeah, so yeah. so yeah. It's, it's, it's inclusive in, uh, in that way. So there's a bit of support and a bit of care for people that need a bit of help with, with uh, you know, with uh, getting, getting, getting to the match with that. So that's, that, as far as I know, is a unique project in football. And the reason why we thought of it is because we're... We're listening. We're 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 in listening mode, uh, talking to people in the community about the kinds of things that 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 could be done. Not because we want to go and take over and say right, we'll do that, but because we're thinking about what what is it that a football club can contribute. And I think it would be fantastic if if uh, when when our club comes to Moston, that it becomes a focus for a lot of people who are otherwise isolated in our community and feel that coming to our club and being involved in our club as a way to connect with, with, with people within their community and, 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 and keep connections going with friends that they might otherwise otherwise lose. Because that's essentially what going to football is all about. Um, I think I've covered everything that I jotted. jotted down. Um, yeah, I think we're on to questions. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs>